everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be talking about the fastest and best way to get the different types of awakening metals. Now not just the awakening metals that you can go through and grind for as far as the Dokkan events because those are really just simply just going and beating the Dokkan events. I am talking about more specifically when we come in and take a look at the different awakening metals these top ones here the gregory the uh bubbles the dr Giro, those right there so basically you have your commons uh here located and then also then you've got your uncommons your rares and then basically the rainbow ones so those are the ones i want to talk about specifically to be able to do so now if you actually come over here one of the best ways that you could do it is if you go to the exchange shop you can look at my baba coins now my baba coins are able to be very very high obviously because i baba a lot of units but not just units if you come over here you can baba things such as other awakening metals uh support items that you don't use treasure items so if you actually come over here and obviously we've got a couple different metals uh, a couple different items here so i can actually get five baba coins for every one of these that I actually pop up. So you can actually see myself increase all the way through. Now, am I ever gonna use 1,778 of my Sensu beans? No, I'm not. So I could easily trade that in for 8,800 Baba coins. Now, once I have those Baba coins, I could then turn around and go into the shop. And this is how I get most of mine. You can see a Gregory there, 210. I'm gonna go ahead and trade for that. I just got myself 60 Gregory coins and I check these. This refreshes every 30 minutes. So I come in here frequently to be able to jump in. You can see the North Kai here. Right now, because of the six year anniversary, they're on sale for only 358. But this is gonna generate through. Do not update it automatically. It does cost Dragon Stones to do that. You most definitely don't wanna do that. But you can turn around here and get these guys here. Now, the next best way to go ahead and do that. If you don't want to turn around and say that you want to farm those, go into the story events. And more specifically, right now, we actually have the Universal Survival Saga events. Here you can see Stage 2 Showdown, the Namekians of Universe 6. Look at all the different coin or the Awakening Medals that you're able to turn around and get on Stage 2. And then on Stage 4, you can get those rare ones. If you come down here to Stage 9, you can actually get the Rainbow ones. Now, the reason why I suggest going to this one right here is because if you just bring in Universal Survival Saga units, you're actually going to be able to get more units. So, in other words, let's just jump in here to this. We'll jump into Level 2, and then I can boost it or do anything else to get even more that way. So, if we jump into it, and I can take a look at the effects right now i'm only at 130 percent but that means i'm guaranteed at least one additional of an item not to mention that i have a 30 percent chance for anything else so whatever i select there and then i can come around here i have a full lr team because those are the best ones to go with you can actually take a look at that skill effect i jump up to 190 percent so i think the best you can get is like 245 but then if you also have the We'll just pick anybody here. It's going to the support memory. I could take Oolong, and Oolong's going to boost it by another 50%. So if I wanted to guarantee two, I could go ahead and actually use Oolong's Wish to get me even more of those Awakening Medals. So that's the best thing to do, is to actually go in through, find an event that you can have effective units as bonus drop rates to be able to get them and then find out ways that you can get them to increase. And again, you're just gonna come through here, take a look at the info. This particular level here, you can see them here on stage two, stage four, and stage nine. But if we actually back out one level and come down here to the Universal uh, Saga, the Tournament of Power commencing, we can actually take a look here again good opportunity because it's going to pull you a uh, kale to go along with it but you can pull them and then on that goku versus jiren on stage five you're able to pull some of those medals there so lots of different ways to be able to get those medals otherwise it's really just going to be playing the game using the stamina on the events but you want to maximize 
your awakening metals but otherwise that's the best way to go through and farm out those awakening metals uh, i know a lot of times people need help with that so hopefully this video has been able to help you out with that uh, otherwise guys that's going to be it if you have any questions please make sure you're going down in the comments let me know if you have ideas or things you want to learn about when it comes to dragon ball i Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle more specifically. I'll be more than happy to help you out on it. Just let me know and I'll do my absolute best that I can do. Um, but if you haven't done so already, please make sure you're going down and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I'm uploading new videos. But otherwise, that's it. That's today's video. Make sure to check out the Twitter and the Discord. Descriptions are down in, the link to the descriptions are down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.